Hey guys, it's Odd996, and welcome to episode 75 of the Spanish Campaign Chronicles. Here you see the cavalry charge on the enemy artillery position, which they had left undefended. And they should be routing pretty soon. You can see they're already wavering. So now they've routed, and I'm going to take my cavalry out of the way before they can send any troops in to kill me. But we're gonna try to get some uh, shots off. I accidentally uh, clicked the key to make the oh, artillery uh, withdraw. Um, so they're going to set up their cannons to go away, and then I'll have them uh, redeploy. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. And we're gonna pull our left flank back because. Since their infantry has fallen back, I can't be sure of where they're going to try to attack me, or even if they're going to attack anymore. So I'm actually going to move everyone up. I changed my mind. Still leaving a little gap for the artillery to shoot through or move up if we need to. And that building is starting to take some hits to it. It's just kind of fun to sadistically destroy the townspeople's buildings. <laughs> People laugh. But we're going to go ahead and move all of our line infantry up. And the general's unit with it. Artillery is moving up too. Um, this will allow us to just kind of be more accurate because we're not really doing anything where we are, so we might as well get closer. Uh, I think the artillery has already played its part with this battle and won't be really important anymore. We don't have time to destroy every building, so I'm not really going to do anything with it. There's not really anything it could do for me at this point. We're going to have the line of three go into the city, where they will um, attack any defended buildings and start taking the town street by street. And that general's unit is going to find us a little place there where it can go. The artillery are going to continue to move up. And let's see the positions of the cavalry. Uh, they have some troops in the very far rear. And we're going to go ahead and charge them. It's militia and armed citizens. So, take them out. Taking um, cities by having your uh, infantry on the different streets, I'd say it's probably the most micromanaging, like, intense game, like, part in this game, I mean. And we're going to actually charge these guys, not the guys in the back, my bad. I lied. So, that's going to take us in range of the guys in the building, so we're going to make this real quick. We're just going to make this unit route and then hopefully retreat, because we are under fire from the enemy. So, come on. Alright. Now we're going to withdraw. And now we gotta start micromanaging where we want everyone to go. So three of them are going to go and melee attack that building. 
and the other three are going to sort of uh, be used in the streets more. And I, I'm not going to have them stay in that like formation, I just want them to all to move up equally. So that first regiment is going to go on that street there and start firing its muskets down at the enemy there. The other two regiments are sort of going to stay as a preserve. And actually, uh, I'm going to have one of those guys... Uh, let's see. I'm going to take their artillery out, hopefully. We'll try to. I don't think we're going to be successful. But you can see just how many men are just trying to cram themselves through the doorway and here we had another cavalry charge in the rear and each with each consecutive cavalry charge that I do they become slightly less effective because of the cavalry getting tired and having less men but we can kind of uh, get rid of that a little bit by having the cavalry rest for a while that'll make them uh, recover their energy but the loss of manpower can't be avoided. So, we've begun to fire our muskets down at the enemy. And we're actually going to melee charge on that one street because it's just armed citizens and I want to kill them. And, um, as you guys know, well, as you guys should know, it's easier to route them by melee attack rather than ranged because they're not good at either but their ranged is at least capable of killing people they whereas in melee they absolutely suck okay that was kind of fail talking absolutely there we go it's almost like as if knowing I'm being recorded makes it harder to talk for some reason but anyway, we're going to try to struggle to position those men where I want them. And we've routed the enemy on that middle street. And we've taken the building. So we're going to exit the building and continue our melee charge. And we're going to stop melee charge here. One unit is going to hold that street with firepower. Like with the muskets and... So we've taken that building. You guys just see the alert there. The other regiment is going to fall back. So I want them to... There we go. Now we got them dying. And I don't know why the AI isn't having them doing anything. They're just standing there and not really any sort of formation. But we're actually starting to waver back here. So I'm going to pull out. And as you guys can see, I've actually lost the whole cavalry regiment. I don't know if they died or if they... Uh, yeah, I think they probably died. Um, so we're going to run away. The infantry will have to take care of the rest of this battle for us. But there's that general's bodyguard unit. It's actually... Um, in danger of being shot by me. So, we're going to move into a better position to try to kill the general. We're also going to move really close to these citizens. And since they're not doing anything, we're just going to fire at them with muskets from point blank range. But these, um, that one regiment is actually firing into my back. So, it's a slight problem. But I'm going to, uh try to deal with that in a second when I realize it didn't actually see that the first time through but 
actually now they are um, in melee, so they're not really a problem anymore. But we're gonna have to bring the cavalry even further back because the AI actually chased me, and uh, I did not expect it to do that. Usually, you'll just give up when like, you see the cavalry withdrawing because you're not gonna catch them. So I can't believe it actually chased me down with militia and started shooting at me. So that kind of sucks. That's my, I'd say, um, what number of mistake is that? Third, is it? I don't know. In this battle, I had more mistakes than I had hoped for, but so far it's still successful. The mistakes haven't managed to change the real outcome, just sort of inconveniences that will pop up on the campaign map.